bring his opponent's speed or want to operate in Trick Room and be slower and attacking first, you're you're only going to be able to max Wormwind as long as the Gastrodon is a threat looming in the back that could switch in at any point. Well, enough for us in our analysis. It's time to head into our top eight match to find out what these players are thinking. From Aldrua, it is going to be that Palkia hitting the field first, paired up with that Amoongus, facing off against this Calyrex Shadow Rider in the Thunderous that we talked about so much. Yeah, the, the first thing you think of one is Palkia. If it wanted to set up Trick Room, you're kind of you're kind of in a, a tough spot because you would take a lot of damage from the opposing Calyrex Thunderous. So if you don't, if you just want to sit there, uh, it would be very difficult to try to endure two hits to act to set up your Trick Room. Luckily for him, he's not going to have to face that this turn, but we have to see if Paul decides Trick Room is important on turn one. Yeah, the Calyrex is going to be swapping out Incineroar, hitting the field in its place. And Rage Powder, sure, a spread damage move like a potential hit from the Calyrex wouldn't have mattered for that. At this point, not going to matter either. Thunderous right out of the gate, going to go for this fly as the Palkia just takes an opportunity to set up this trick room. So with Incineroar switching in, as you were mentioning, the Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider does not, you know, threaten it at what, whatever. So the Rage Powder somewhat being unnecessary on that turn. The Spore would have been maybe potential into that slot. You'd put something to sleep. Uh, but now that you don't really care about putting either Incineroar or Thunderous to sleep, you, you want to switch out the Amoongus. Definitely makes sense. The uh, and with that switch in, though, you have your two restricted pairs. Palkia can potentially go for a strong attack under Trick Room. What could have been a strong attack, instead going to be a little bit slowed down as this Incineroar. Sometimes you see it fake out on the first turn in. It's going to go for the parting shot instead, a pivot out of Kyle's own, as well as just making sure this Palkia can be neutralized that little bit. And going to be bringing in the Calyrex Shadow Ice. Uh, Shadow Rider, all of the Calyrex is out on the field. Yes, the uh, ice and shadow on the field at the yeah. same time. Two completely opposite ends of the speed spectrum. Definitely, and that is going to be getting a big hit from this Palkia on the swap in, bringing it to just over half of its health at this point as Calyrex Ice Rider is going to be taking this fly hit from the Thunderous. And I do want to touch on that fly turn one from Kyle on his end instead of Dynamaxing, where you'll see many many trainers will just dynamax thunderous really right away turn one and try to get as much damage as you can for those three turns but kyle understanding that paul really wanted to set up trick room you'd really be putting yourself in a bad spot by not only raising your own speed for max airstreams but then if you waste your dynamax there you're not going to want to switch the thunderous out and then you'd effectively be wasting it for the entire game so yes even though fly took two turns to do not even half to the calyrex at that point what kyle did was preserve his dynamax for later in the game which can actually be really huge for him and making sure the amogus doesn't spore you and you know played that sort of game instead. And Cinnaroar gonna be coming in on Kyle's side of the board, get an Intimidate down onto this Calyrex Ice Rider. It's slowing really things down a little bit more, but instead it's just gonna be burning this White Herb as Kyle looking to still keep things going as a Dynamax is coming into play. Yeah, the White Herb, the Calyrex Ice Rider uh, held item has really changed over time, has developed over these last couple of regionals. The White Herb is really helpful against Incineroar because he's going to intimidate you. And, uh, re you know, this Calyrex is at half HP yeah. under Trick Room, though, and he Dynamaxed it. Now, there has to be something bigger at play here and making sure the Calyrex survives. Well, that is the first step into this. But that's only going to happen once. The Hydro Pump is going to connect twice in a row, and that is going to be a wasted Dynamax from Kyle's end in a game that you can't afford to lose because Paul's already up one match. Yep, so the correct decision of I need to Dynamax to survive the Glacial Lance was right. But you thought maybe because Incineroar is on the field, this Water-type Palkia would want to target it down with a super effective Hydro Pump. But Paul deciding Incineroar is not as important as it is to get rid of Calyrex Shadow Rider. Once Trick Room expires, it can really be a problem to deal with. So by double targeting that slot, you just, you know, that good that good saving of Dynamax that Kyle did early on was now negated by Dynamaxing on that turn and getting knocked out before you even got an attack off. Yeah, that hurts at that point because you know that in Trick Room, you're not going to get the opportunity to get an attack till last. You're going to have to survive everything else being thrown your way. 
It's just going to be an uphill battle from this point. A swap out Zajian and Thunder is going to be paired up on the field together and all in a very safe position to be going for a Dynamax of his own at this point. It's going to be huge going into this match, and it will be that Palkia. And we can now confirm, because Zashian is the fourth that Kyle brought, that he does not have Gashadon in this game. So that was the perfect time. That was Paul clicking the Dynamax button as fast as humanly possible <laughs> once he saw Gashadon was not in this match. Yeah, nothing could ruin your day more than this little slug. And knowing that it's not going to be joining the field whatsoever, while well, this Palkia might just have a good time, but has to get through this Calyrex turn first. Calyrex Ice Rider from all going to be going for the Glacial Lance. Of course, the Zacian protected. Thunder is going to be a clean KO, and Paul is just licking this win button at this point. And that's only the first turn of Dynamax that Kyle is going to have to try to get through. So this Max Geyser, not going to do too much because he did protect. But while you still have turns of Trick Room left and two more Dynamax turns from the Palkia when you wasted yours and got knocked out uh, on the previous turn, that just so, is in such a commanding position for Paul that he can click whichever Dynamax attacks he wants, as long as it's not the warm wind into Zashian, obviously. Uh, whatever attacks he wants this turn, either threatening down with a rain boosted max geyser into the zashian or even just trying to knock out the incineroar this is a really strong position for paul yeah at this point still all pokemon available we haven't even seen the fourth and i mean unwinnable board state at this position paul is going to be taking this win a very strong dominant win and a, a fast track into the top four yeah.